Make sure you stay tuned in, we'll talk about two common mistakes people make that can cost you thousands of dollars. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a dot charger. If you have a dot charger, you're trying to find where the fuse is located for the diagnostic port, also known as OBD port. All that will be covered in this video. Today we will explain where the fuse is located, common mistakes people make when replacing fuses, relays that can cost you thousands of dollars, and where you can buy cheap fuses from. All that will be covered in this video today. Before we start, let me just tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we do that? Because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to our channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these free videos. And if you guys want to buy any parts, tools for your Dodge or any vehicle, you want to get them at a good price, quick shipping, check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our tools and supplies from. So let's continue now. Practically guys, it doesn't matter if you have a V6, V8, it will work all about the same. So we have right here the fuse box in the engine bay under the hood, but that fuse is not there. Now, talking about diagnostics, many of you guys actually requested that information in the comment section below to share information about a good scanner, because nowadays the market is flooded with uh, OBD tools, but uh, based on our experience here at the garage, and we use that scanner daily guys, this is our favorite scanner uh, for that price range. It's amazing, uh, it's, uh, it can read, delete and see live data guys, access every computer module and some of those new cars have up to 50 computers like that BMW between 50 and 60 guys. So you definitely need a tool like that to fix your car nowadays and it works on any car you can think of. Check out the link in the description of the video below if you want to see the current price and features. So let's explain where the OBD diagnostic, uh, diagnostic port uh, fuse is located now. So you need to open the trunk on your dot charger. Once you guys open the trunk, you will see that you will have that cover here. Okay, this is the cargo cover, guys, that you're going to lift up, and you have the spare tire and the car battery here. Now, uh, many times, guys, for many fuses, it's recommended to actually disconnect the car battery when replacing a fuse or a relay. Uh, that way you can avoid electrical problems. Also, on these new cars, it's super important to know which battery terminal to disconnect and reconnect first. If you do them the wrong way, you can cause damage to modules, computers, electrical systems, and uh, we did that mistake in the past. It cost us $2,000. We burned one module on Mercedes, guys. So there is a video that explains which battery terminal to disconnect and reconnect first. There is a fuse box right here, you see. You grab that uh, notch, you press it in, pull up, and it comes out. Now, let's talk about that fuse, but you will see that you have different kinds of fuses, a few different kinds and relays. Now, it's very important to guys actually test fuses. Why? Because sometimes you cannot clearly see if a fuse is burnt. Always test them, that way you don't waste your money and time on now, uh, on parts and problems that do not exist, always test fuses. Uh, so we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses, relays, and where to buy cheap fuses and relays from. With that being said, which fuse we need to check? We need to come, guys, to that block right here. You can see now uh, this one right there. And if you start from the very left side going to the right, it will be that second fuse, that 10M fuse. That's the one for the OBD and diagnostics. You go ahead, grab it with the pull, pull it out, okay, and remove it. You can see this is, guys, the fuse. I'll grab the new one quick, and we'll just go ahead and install it now. Okay, pretty simple. If your diagnostic port still doesn't work, we have a special video that explains why OBD diagnostic port doesn't work. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching. See you next time.